We're 11 games into the season and it is going fantastically well with Jermaine Defoe being nothing sort of dynamic. But we have got major injury news for another hot young prospect and we travel to Ellen Road to take on big spending Leeds United, including some guy called Rio Ferdinand, in today's episode of Chasing the Fortune. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. This is my retro database save with West Ham United in the 0102 season. And this is indeed episode two. If you haven't seen episode one yet, go back and watch it. I'll put a link in the description below. It's currently on 49 views. If we can get it over 50, that would be delicious. So please do go and check that out. And if you enjoy this video and this series, please do pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for loads more YouTube content all over the place. I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. But before all that, why don't we get into finding out what has been going on since you was last with me. And well... Like I say, it has been going phenomenally well. You was last with me for the first game of the season. That mad 5-2 game after being at 2-2 at half-time. We ended up losing that 5-2 to United. But then we followed that up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 games unbeaten in the league and the League Cup. First up came Southampton at home. Lomas, Canute and Sinclair put them all to the sword. A very, very nice performance there. Then we had a 1-1 draw against Tottenham in a game that mm, was fairly even, but I think we just about edged. But 1-1 draw against Tottenham, our local rivals, I'm not too displeased with that, if I'm honest. And then after that, Jermaine Defoe went on an absolute madness for the next four games. First up, he got two against Wimbledon alongside TT Camara to give us a 3-0 win. Defoe, he wasn't done there. He got another two against Fulham alongside Trevor Sinclair getting a late one just to really confirm the win to give us a 3-1 victory there. And then again, for the third game in a row, as oh, I've pressed a button, I didn't want to press that. For the third game in a row, Jermaine Defoe got two goals. Joe Cole got another one, and Di Canio got one right at the end. Finally getting into the team and onto the score seat, because Di Canio, he's been having a problem getting into the team, surprisingly enough, because Defoe has just been undroppable. And speaking of undroppable, against Blackburn in a mad 3-2 game, Jermaine Defoe scored a hat-trick, a first-half hat-trick in the 21st, 31st and 42nd minute. So what's that, a 21-minute hat-trick? That's pretty good. But then Nerd Phonics' favourite Blackburn player, Matt Janssen, he tried to get Blackburn back into it. He made it nervy in the second half, getting a couple of goals. But we did survive and we did hold on. And then that is where Defoe's goal-scoring exploits ended as we then lost 3-1 in a performance that came out of nowhere. Can you guess what I'd done in between these two games? If you had closed the game down, went to sleep, woke up, opened the game again, then yeah, you was correct. Because for some reason, FM hates you turning the game off. So yeah, 3-1 defeat to Everton there. Big Duncan Ferguson. What a name from the past that is. And Kevin Campbell as well. Two really good Everton players from back in the day really did do for us. But then we hit back with a quite a surprising result. 
I I was never confident back in the day whenever West Ham played Newcastle because of obviously the big man Alan Shearer who likes to celebrate like that. And so yeah, two 0 win there. De Canio scoring early doors. Ian Pearce getting a very rare goal in the second half to make sure we won it. But then, 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 the performance of the season so far. Trevor Sinclair got three. De Canio got two. And oh, Christian Daly. You can sag my wife, Christian Daly. He got the last one. Six, one. We demolished Aston Villa. What a phenomenal performance that was. So, so good. And then Defoe finally back on the score seat in our last game as we beat Middlesbrough by three goals to one with De Canio on the left wing getting both of the other goals. And so we've talked you through the results. We've talked you through Defoe. And let's just have one last look at him. Because so far, from seven starts and three sub-appearances, the man has scored 10 goals, got four assists, got an XG of 6.45, but somehow only has an average rating of 7.65. I think that's a little bit low, if you ask me, because the man has been phenomenal. Well, I say man, he's 19 years old. Jesus Christ, he's a kid. And so, yep, that is one hot prospect who's doing very, very well. But as for one that's not, Joe Cole, he has broken his lower leg. You can see the exact spot there with the little bit of heat heat burn or what's them heat patches? Heat patches, that's what they're called. Heat patch that he's got on his leg there to try and fix it. I don't think a heat patch on its own is going to fix a broken leg, but that's what he's trying. And so he is out for two to four months. He's already been out for seven weeks. So that might, might be his season done, depending how his recovery goes. Hopefully that doesn't impact him too much when he does get back. But with all that said and done, let's have a look where we are in the league, actually, just before we do get into the game. Because before today's game, and look what a big game this is. We are third in the league, level on points with today's opponents, Leeds United. We are only above them on goal difference. So this should be a good game of football. I am really, really hoping. And so I'm going to go and pick the team and I'll be back with you in a second. This is the team for today's game. We've got David James in goal. Minto and Repka are our fullbacks. Daly and Pierce are our no nonsense centre backs. And then in the midfield, we've got Courtois, Monker, and Carrick. Courtois is coming in because Don Hutchinson has got a little bit of a knock. He'll be out for a couple of weeks. Nothing too major. And then up front, it is De Canio on the left in a very unusual position for him. But it's De Canio. We've got to find somewhere to get him into the team. And if anyone is going to replace Joe Cole at left wing, I think De Canio's a decent choice. And then Sinclair on the right. And then up front, it is the man in form, Jermaine Defoe. Hopefully, he can get a couple goals for us today and really embarrass Rio Ferdinand at his new team. Well, have a look at some of these players in the Leeds team. Some really phenomenal players from back in the day. Nigel Martin, he was a goalkeeper I really loved. Danny Mills, whatever happened to him? Certainly don't see him on TV these days, do you? Lee Bowyer, the lifelong West Ham fan playing against his favourite club. David Batty, I loved David Batty back in the day. I suppose you could say I was a bit of a Batty boy. Don't clip that. Please don't clip that. And then we've got Harry Kuehl, Michael Bridges and Robbie Keane. And also one little note on our bench. Number 41, a 14-year-old Mark Noble might get onto the pitch to make a debut. Who knows? We shall find out today. And let's go pump our fists. Actually, no. Let's go outstretched arms. 
go out there, carry straight on from where you finished your last match. That's got that's got a few people motivated. And now let's just tell everyone that we believe in them. And that's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players motivated. I'm gonna take that. And so prediction time. I'm gonna be confident. Three nil. Three nil win, I'm feeling. Don't know why, but I am. First highlight of the game, and we're four and a half minutes in. The ball's gone over the top, defoe's over the defence, and well, puts that ball as high as a rugby goal should be. But now five minutes five minutes into the game. We have another highlight, and it's Christian Daly with it. And Ig, he again goes over the top, and Defoe again, it's the same highlight. It w I don't think that one's going to count, boys and girls. I do not believe that one's counting. But we have caught Leeds out with the exact same move twice in five minutes. Either they're going to have to make a change or we are going to score a few today. Half an hour in now. Thomas Repka with the throw in goes to Sinclair. Sinclair with the cross in. Is that a corner ball? No, apparently not. Apparently it just stayed in. And now Nigel Martin goes long. But Daly with an easy interception there. Carrick with it. Sinclair's behind their defence. Sinclair is in. Sinclair gives West Ham the lead at Ellen Road. Sinclair with a very nice goal. Slotted in past Nigel Martin. And wow, Leeds have not done anything so far today. That all came from their attackers just making that way too easy for us to get the ball back. And once Sinclair was in behind, he was never going to miss that opportunity, was he, people? Well, that is half-time. Not that many highlights to show you, but we are 1-0 up. We have had seven shots. Oh, no, sorry. Leeds have had seven shots, two are four. Four on target, they've had two are three. And their XG has actually been better than ours. 0.57 to 0.42. And they've had a lot more of their possession. How we're winning this game of football, I don't quite know. But let's go into the dressing room. Let's go hands on hips. I'm tempted to say I'm not happy. Try and get them fired up. But I think that might go wrong. Oh, let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? You only live once, right? Most of them are motivated again. I will take that. So come on, another another two goals to get my prediction right would be very nice. So 10 minutes into the second half, we get the ball back to our midfield. Courtois to Carrick. Courtois to Carrick to Defoe. Courtois, that's not a name I remember ever playing for West Ham. If someone can let me know how he got on for us, that would be very, very nice. But now Carrick with a long shot and Martin with a decent save there. But he is unable to avoid it going out for a corner. Now, who's it going to be to take this? It's going to be the one, the only, Scotty Minto. He crosses it in and Sinclair tries to header it, but Martin does a good job in the box there. Just over 20 minutes left. Repka to Carrick. Carrick into Moncur. Moncur loses the ball there, but Carrick very quickly winning it back. And Courtois now. Can he get the ball out wide? Nope. Carrick into Defoe, who's been quite quiet today. And now Sinclair, can he cross this into the box? He does, and Martin tips it over. It's still in play. De Canio has kept it in, and now he crosses it back, and well, that goes to Baki. And now Bridges, Bridges with it. Oh no, Bridges in behind our defence, crosses it in, and Robbie Keane with the equaliser, and that is a terrible, that is a terrible defensive mistake there. Once De Canio gave the ball away, Leeds had it all too easy. Look at this. Brilliant touch from Bridges. Who is that he's taken it away from? That is... That's Christian Daly. It's disappointing from him there. And who's the other defender? Ian Pearce. Wow. And it's a mix-up from David James as well. I think that's a bit of a calamity from James. OK, 20 minutes left to go. We've gone to a 4-2-3-1. One of the problems with this squad is that outside the first team, we don't have many game changers. So this is what I've had to do. Canute is coming on for Defoe. 
who has been quite disappointing today. And Paul Kitson has come on for Courtois as a shadow striker. We're going to go a bit more attacking. And yet, hopefully, that might be able to win us this game of football. Come on, you Irons. 18 minutes left. We have a corner kick, but it's gone away again. And now it's De Canio with it. Ear back into John Moncur. Moncur sprays it out wide. Sinclair nods it down, but only as far as Lucas Radderby. And now, what are Leeds United going to do with this ball? Are they going to go long? They are going to go long. Is Minto going to get to this first? No, he's not. Way too lackadaisical. And from 1-0 up, we are 2-1 down. Just because of the laziness of our defenders. That is shocking defending. Nigel Martin, just way too easy over the top. Minto, if he'd have really wanted it, he could have got that ball. 15 minutes left now, and it's Carrick with the ball. Goes wide to Scott Minto. Scott Minto coming forward. Can he make amends for his error just now? Carrick over the top. Decanio squares it. Sinclair! Yes! Come on, Sinclair! That is what you want. That is another very nice goal from us, as I've got a random bit of paper just falling over there by the side of me. And now, Scotty Minto with it, Carrick over the top, and De Canio. I was so worried he was going to do the usual thing of just lashing it into the side net. But nope, he did the smart thing, put it into Sinclair. Now, come on, surely we can win this game. Please, please, please. We're going to go very attacking for these last five minutes. Minto with a corner ball. Ferdinand heads away. And now De Canio, is he going to get this first? Yes, he is. And he avoids the two-footed challenge. But we've given it away again. Kelly. Kelly has got the ball. No, Kelly. No. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Someone help us. And thankfully, Kelly can only put that ball into the side of the net. Three and a half minutes left of injury time. It's Leeds United attacking at us. Bridges, no! Oh, no, no, no. What has this game been? Oh. Keen with the cross and Bridges. Just, again, that's three times they've got in behind our defence. Was that offside? Was that illegally in behind? No, it wasn't. Oh. Gutted. Gutted is what I am on. Oh, no. Don't you dare do it again. That would be rude. Ian Hart to Dominic Matteo. Backer, come on. And then, oh, Kanute. Kitson, we've got, we've got a chance of a counter here. Kitson, he needs to play the ball. He does. Sinclair plays it back to him. That's a very nice one, too. Paul Kitchen. Yes! 3-3. Three, three. What a mad game of football this has been. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Sinclair with a beautiful back-to-ball, back-to-Paul Kitson. And he just slides it into the back of the net. Is there time for a winner? Ah, unfortunately not. But that is a blooming good game of football. Six goals, three apiece. Leeds had 20 shots with 10 on target to our 13 and 8 on target. An XG of 2.62 and ours is 1.55. And well, what a game of football. And now I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna go hands on hips. Everybody thought we'd get beaten today. And everyone's happy with that. So let's go and have a look, see what that's done for the league table, and decide when we're gonna come back. So after nine games in the league, there is still not much between us and Leeds United. We are in fourth. Leeds United are in fifth. Chelsea at top of the table, played 9, won 8, drawn 1, lost 0 for 25 points. They have already got a 7 point gap between themselves and Man United. Arsenal are in 3rd, 
Liverpool are down in 10th. Bolton, Sunderland and Ipswich make up the relegation zone so far. Little bit surprised about Liverpool, maybe. But very surprised how we're doing. We are doing fantastically well. And so where is the schedule? There it is. And so when shall we come back? Do we come back for Arsenal? I think that might be a little bit too soon. I do want to get a few games done. But then again, I can't think of any other one that is that is relatively close and is good good for good to be on camera. So you know what? We'll do Arsenal. Arsenal will be the next video. And so that will be up some point next week. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content, Total Extreme Wrestling content and Bus Simulator content all coming to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. Thank you so, so much. I shall see you next time. Bye.